like us. See, in leadership, the cafeteria person was important. You know, they'll say, oh, I hate this old man's food, and now can I have some more? The captain, the custodians of it are just as important as principal. Because we all have to use the facilities that give, and I have to give compliments, because I can measure between the buildings that I've been in and the one that we came from. Ferndale is immaculate. Yeah, and those ladies deserve, I mean, a round of applause yeah. just because they do what they do. Thank you. I saw two women with power brushes and power washes and scrubbing places that you don't even think about. That's important. So ask yourself, what kind of tell you when it comes to educating the children that we teach from our home? See, this is a calling. When you come to a place like Ferndale, that's not a place you can hide. That's not a place you need to come retire or sit back and just talk about folks. And while I'm at that, let me go with this. I'm going to say some stuff and I'm going to step on some toes. So if you went about 10, you can draw your feet up to about 8. <laughs> step on some toes. So the question I want you to ask yourself, what kind of technique when it comes to educating that truth? So if you know someone who all they do is complain, they talk about we need staff development and they don't show up to staff development. We need a better school and they don't come to school. Or you know, the kids who are late just cut to your class and you run it through the door <laughs> when the bell rings. If you know someone like that, or you are someone like that, we're going to call you a commentator. All you do is commentate. Commentators. Firm your hearing doesn't need any more commentators, folks. They need some educators. They need people that want to be there and know where they are. When you still sit around after, after four or five years, a couple of years, and you don't realize the type of environment that we in, and you still complain, I spoke to a teacher during driving day this weekend, a new teacher. Actually, Ms. Dr. Earl, she's gonna be a teacher, a science teacher at a school that your husband just got hired. She's gonna have 50 children in her classroom. They're gonna team teach because they don't have enough teachers. 50. And we have people commentating about 20. Commentators. So from the hymn, we need to clean up the commentators. And that's a real tough. And I, I like what Paul says about 